guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the test account, over on our test server, and that is right, guys. New trial hero, don't wait, just play. It is the massively amazing looking awakened hero, Brutus. I um, absolutely love him, guys. There's a couple other things. The invisible enrollment, as you can see right here, guys, we were hoping that this was going to be a new guild boss. Unfortunately, we can see that that is not going to happen. It is the new Abyssal Expedition boss. We've seen a couple sneak peeks. We've seen some snapshots. Um, we were hoping they would do something with the guild bosses, but it seems as of now they are doing nothing, and they're really trying to push this Abyssal enrollment. So with the enrollment, of course, within the Vault of Time, we're going to look over a couple of the maps. There are a couple changes in here. Um, I want to go through and test Brutus within the guild trials. Glorified guild, guys, you can look. There are five different guilds. These are the top five guilds um, so far within the Abyssal Expedition, which is cool. If you check it out, they do give you, as you can see, a couple hundred diamonds in here to go ahead and just kind of see season one, two, three, four, five. And it looks like it's the same guild. I think it's the same guild that was the champion guild um, every single time. So very, very cool to see exactly where they are. You can go back and look at the older data to see exactly where the Vault of Time and where all of the guilds did land within there. Now, in addition, guys, we do have the Mauler's Will. So this part, the skills actually came out, which is funny because the hero already came out before the skills. Same with this one. So the Realm skill is coming up in 24 hours. We already know what the Realm, realm skill is. So I, I feel like the, the timing of everything within here um, doesn't really seem to make that much sense. Then, of course, the video, guys. Uh, most of the videos have already been leaked. I'm going to cover them in a little bit. That way we have and we can check them out kind of looking at the story. Question mark, um, I, I think this is a little bit broken, but you can see this used to be the little um, the little board. There was actually a little like a content board or a leaderboard right here um, that had this information. Now it is broken to a question mark. There's a couple things after the patch that are not really working as intended. Treasure Scramble, of course, is up. Vault of Time is up, which is cool. Desert Affliction, um, we're starting to almost get that completed to get some of those those uh, time emblems out of there. Then, of course, guys, the Bountiful Trial of Brutus itself is up. I wanted to try him out, and I like to try him in the Guild Trial. Um, there are a couple teams specifically that I wanted to look at within here, see exactly how well he's going to do within the Guild Trial. And looking at level deficiency, so I believe last time we pushed this to, I believe it was around 460. You know what? I'm just going to start at a 460 mark. We'll begin the trial here because I think where we start out, maybe it was, so that's a hundred level deficiency. So a hundred level deficiency, um, I'm going to go to all of these other teams. I'm going to pull them out and we're going to see again, exactly what we can do in here. A lot of players are really worried about the survivability that Brutus is going to pull. So I'm hoping that we can see it here with our trial heroes. Remember guys, his SP ability is going to do this energy absorption, which I think is pretty cool. I'm not sure if he gets the energy. I don't think so, but he is going to have the opportunity to take away energy from other um, heroes. And looking at him, guys, he is massive. I absolutely love him. So first of all, I wanted to try the invade team. Um, I know with his AOE effect, I, I think it could work in here. Again, I'm going to stick with Maulers for this one. Um, so I'm going to go with the Mitsu in here. I'm going to go with Kren. And then I was thinking doing Granite, or I was thinking with Scrath. I'm going to go with Scrath in this one. Um, see exactly what we get. Again, 100 level deficiency. I just want to kind of build it out and see how it looks. I mean, so essentially, there's the pull in that he has. Now, remember, guys, when he's stacking essentially all of these heroes in this back line, um, he's going to do that big old AoE damage, which, of course, is very unique to him. Looking here, guys, 72 million damage. And this is what we were talking about a little bit earlier, looking at the damage that he's doing in here. But the thing is, does it make a difference or is the damage factor still going to be there? When, let's say, we add another 40 levels. And again, so 360, so 140 level deficiency. Is it still going to have the viability or are we going to see heroes like Nemitsu just get destroyed there? And then, of course, Brutus probably going to do the exact same. And again, this is what a lot of um, players were worried about. He does have the shield that you've seen right there. Doing a lot of damage, taking a lot of damage. Um, even Scrag got burnt down quite a bit, which means we need better support. So let's drop on Nemitsu. Let's drop in, 
let's say a Rowan. And again, just playing around with the formation, guys, kind of looking back and forth and what this is going to look like. Rowan, of course, is going to have the potion ability, is also going to have the ultimate abilities. So there was Brutus's ultimate ability. Got some more crowd control in there, which I love. And guys, he is massive. Guys, it, it is very, very cool to see him. Um, just exactly how massive he is. So there he pulls in Astrilde, he pulls, pulls in Solus, and again, he dies pretty soon, or dies pretty fast. 129 million damage there. So let's see some of the tougher support, such as, let's say, I, I was thinking he lost, but I don't think we have him. We, we don't have him within um, the formations yet, so we can't use him. But again, I'm trying to think of some heroes that could possibly make a difference with him. I wonder if we did go with a hero like Granite, um, Anoki, another one with a pushback. We know Entendre does the same. Could see a little bit of play out of this. I would love to see the Mauler teams. So again, a lot of players or a lot of heroes, you can kind of fit into a meta team. Um, I, I'm hoping it'll make a difference because even there, guys, it looks like that did make quite a bit of a difference. 154 million damage. He's putting up the numbers, guys. He is putting up the numbers. So essentially, though, if you're running him in formations, and I could see a couple different ones, where even if you're running him, let's say, with an Ulna, this would be, in my opinion, a very, very strong combination. If you throw, you know, Grez in there, if you throw, or excuse me, not Grez, um, if you throw Ulna in there with a couple Mauler heroes, could be a possibility, because of course, Ulna is going to give him that immunity factor in there. Um, allowing a couple of heroes like possibly Thisu, possibly like a Tae um, to really, really see what heroes, what heroes are going to kind of work in here. Um, I know players chapter 40 plus are using Tae in here because of the immunity factor that she has. But again, right here, we could have immunity. Tae in there for damage, which means we just got to throw some support classes in here to really keep them alive and keep them up. Now, it's going to be interesting. Mitigation with, like, Peanut could work really well. Um, possibly losing, like, a, a Silas, a Desira, a Nomura, um, something of that nature, I think could really work as well, just because of the damage mitigation and everything else that they bring. And, of course, guys, if he's coming here in the back, if we can get... Boom, look, guys, he brings everyone together. That is where the damage amplification comes from. Plus, he does have that defense reduction. It's kind of crazy, guys. Almost 100 million damage just like that. Crazy. I, I, I can see him um, working in a, in a lot of different formations. It's, it's going to be interesting to see um, any of the heroes that really push it back. So I wonder if even like a Treznar and a Fane, um, if that could be a possibility literally to just keep heroes together like we've seen. And again, boom, there's the big ultimate ability, guys stacking these heroes together anyone who's bringing these heroes together 154 right there um even possibly having a hero built out completely like a frampton that that you know if he's completely decked out i believe he does pull heroes together if i remember correctly um it would be interesting to see it, it's gonna be an evade team guys and i love again he does the knockback right there and then of course the pull in on the alt Pulls in the whole team to do, to do that AoE damage. I could see an invade team with Zafriel in here. Um, again, going really almost straight to a meta team. If you if you have a hero like Zafriel, um, that he could push this front target back. Zafriel is already going to be here. You have Scrag coming over, which of course is going to allow Brutus to ult much faster. Again, it's going to be interesting. You put a hero like Mortis in a formation like this. Um, where you're going to have the ability to actually buff Brutus. In my opinion, again, it is going to be pretty pretty broken in that aspect if we're buffing up Brutus. Because even there, oh, Mortis went down. I, I was hoping we'd get the buff off pretty quick. But again, in a Zolrath formation, it seems like he's going to work in a bunch of different places. Guys, 115 million damage right there. incredible incredible but then you start getting into let's say add another 40 levels there we go so we're at a 180 deficiency again that's going to make a big big difference but he has that immunity 
So I, I like the immunity off the bat, which he died right there. See, that's what a lot of people are worried about. Um, but he does still have that immunity, which I like. 34 million, of course, Frampton doing quite a bit in there. But let's see, even there, it, he still possesses that immunity, which I love. In there, it looks like they killed him before he ulted. It seemed like that ultimate ability was going to go off, and then it didn't happen because they actually killed him out. They killed him out a little bit faster. Zorath formation again, boom, knocks the target back. So I think that's going to be one really big aspect that we're going to find with him is knocking the target back from the beginning, being able to literally put them right into the back row um, is going to make a difference, kind of like what we see with Estrilda. And Brutus is literally just pushing around the team here. He, he is pushing around the entire enemy team, which here comes the alt again, guys. Brings them all together. Big, big reduction right there. Look at that, guys. Incredible. 211 million damage. Again, if you're putting support behind this guy, I think he's going to be a little bit similar to Thane, where Thane can just absolutely amplify the damage. Um, I think if you put some support behind him, if you put some builds behind him, it's going to be interesting to see exactly where he comes with bosses, um, things of that nature, and exactly how strong he's going to be. Again, this is starting to push a very high level deficiency. Um, he seems to be doing well. I like the combination with Zorath. Um, if we can get Mortis even in you know, a, a scenario like this, if we can get Mortis to buff him, it's going to literally amplify the damage that he's putting out because of Mortis within this formation. See, even there, guys, Mortis dies out again. But Brutus, again, pulls everyone but Lucius together. Boom, just dominates the damage that he puts out there. It, it is, it's pretty crazy to, to see. He's the only one left, which fortunately goes down right there. But if he gets that alt off pretty quick, and seems like energy regeneration overall is pretty quick, which I like. You get the twins behind him. Look at him, guys. Got four or what, three of the five targets up. Here comes the alt again. Boom, brings everyone together. So very cool to see. That is such a cool, cool build hero, guys. 249 million damage. Insane, guys. All right, so that'll do it for today's video, guys. I really wanted to test him out and see what he could do. Um, seems like if you're going to stack the Elder Tree um, behind him, he can do incredibly well. I like the combination of, you could even do like a Mishka and a Star within a formation. I think would be incredibly, incredibly strong. Again, with that mitigation, getting his abilities up, getting all of his shielding up. I, I think it's going to be a really, really cool build. But looking at the level deficiency, again, we're at 180. There's going to be a breaking point for every single hero. And I know a lot of players do realize that. When you start getting 200, 250, 300, whatever deficiency is, there is a point that the enemies or the, the heroes are going to be broken by the levels that the enemies have. So guys, again, that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.